How's it going, everybody? Thanks for taking some time out of your day or your evening to check out my channel. I truly appreciate it. Before I get going in this video, uh, I want to do a little bit of background information. On the 13th of March, I had a hive that was already splitting at the seam. So I did a split with it and I pulled out fresh eggs and, and brood and food and all kinds of stuff. Made a split and then I checked on the 15th, did a real quick check on the 15th because it was starting to get cold. And there was zero evidence of any queen cells being drawn out. So on the 15th, I went back to a hive, stole some more eggs. And what I did was I cut some chunks of eggs out and I inverted them and I stuck them so they were coming straight down from uh, the top of a, of a frame inside because they like to draw the queen cells straight down. So I turned them down this time and stuck them back in there and was hoping for the best and then the temperature plummeted you can see i got insulation wrapped around those girls and a and a tarp and stuff but i mean it was in the teens one night and i was i was sort of suspect whether they could do anything at all with them but i got in there on the 22nd and i'm pretty sure i saw evidence of several queen cells and i had three little strips of those eggs along there what i'm what my hope is is that i can pull off a couple of queen cells because I went back to my strongest hives again today and they're still building up like crazy and I pulled off some more frames of bees and I'm hoping to introduce a queen cell from here over to each of those splits as long as I can get some from here so I just again just some background information before I get in here so I don't have to do a ton of ex explanation once I get inside of here all right I'm gonna get a little bit of smoke going and open those girls up and hopefully see several queen cells all right, I got my 100 pounds of weights off and my tarp and the top cover off. Let me get a little smoke going and get inside the inner cover. I had a jar of sugar water and obviously it just leaked into the lid. Hopefully you can see it's in, if it's in view here, there are my three zip ties that I zip tied the, uh, the eggs on too so that's where I'm hoping that I got a bunch of queen cells well at least three I got them on each section, which is really cool. Man, I could make, if I had more places to put splits or more splits ready, I could do some more probably. There's queen cell right here. Hopefully I'm getting these in view here. Queen cells here, there's one there. I think there's three or four on that one chunk right here. There's a couple right here. A couple queen cells right here. And there's a couple on this one. I think I'm just gonna take like this one off of here and this one, I'm gonna leave this one here for these girls. They only need one. There's at least three or four queen cells on that one. So now hopefully you can get a better idea of what I did here, I took that and, it, and this was, it's a little bit difficult with the plastic foundation, cutting this along here. I mean, if you just had wax foundation, it's really easy. Just cut it with a knife and pull it out and you're good. But the one thing I'll be able to do now is I'll be able to cut these zip ties and actually peel that off and take those queen cells and introduce them to these other splits. At least that's my theory. I have done queens like this before, but it was just to get a hive going again, not to make multiple splits off of. We'll see how this works. So there we go. I got a chunk with some queen cells on it. I'm going to take this and introduce it into one of these two splits right here. I'll try to turn the camera here, hopefully. And I said this before, that I'm filming with my phone. It's a lot more difficult to do 
good thing them view but my bees hate my GoPro so let's see how this goes Here's some of the stuff I stole from the other hives. Now getting these in here might be challenging. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Like I said, this is the first for me. Maybe I'm just going to give as much room as possible and stick them down in there. I don't want to damage those queen cells. I may have to cut a chunk out of those frames so I can get a queen cell, put those back in there. I gotta go get a utility knife. Okay, so this is something I could have had done. Learning process. I'm gonna get them in the middle frame here. Sure I am. Get most of the bees off of here. All right, I'm just going to cut a small section out here and put a section of those queens in there. All right, there's a hole there, lickety split. Zip tie. All right, there you go. First for me. I'm gonna repeat this process in that other split. They got some nice looking queen cells there, really. Put these girls back together. I mean, they still have to make a mating flight. Come back, start laying eggs. We gotta have good weather for that. I got a hole in this top cover. I'll come out and give them some food later. that plug so I'm just going to repeat that process here I'm going to put those cells back in the original hive all right so we're going to introduce those queen cells to the other one all right I know I got queen cells in that hive this hive and that hive I'm not sure if I'm going to need that insulation anymore I got like a little disaster area going on right now all this stuff really i mean a lot of this stuff is experimental for me doing splits this early i mean that i just had a hive that was just it was going crazy and i had to do something with it so we're going to see how this works out never know i mean if all three of them work i don't really want that many hives right now i'll probably end up selling a couple splits that i do this year but if this works really well that's how i'm going to do my splits from now on invert a little piece of uh eggs for them to draw multiple queen cells out so far, it seems to work pretty good. We'll see how she goes.